Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 16th of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the www.tradesingler.com and uh, certainly download it from the uh, Google app and the uh, Apple App Store or Google, uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of markets today, then initially we had a uh, gap higher on the back of relief that the uh, situation in Syria didn't escalate, i.e. the Russians didn't retaliate and there were no uh, obviously flare-up in the potential uh, uh, scenario there given the geopolitics with Syria, Saudi, America, Russia, the Brits and the uh, French now involved as well with airstrikes, etc., etc. Everything passed sort of relatively unscathed and that was certainly uh, considered to be bullish. Okay, now uh, let's see exactly um, what's happening so far. So initially, we had uh, obviously uh, a, a gap higher rally and that was actually sold into given the fact that we had weakness in China overnight and the Chinese and the Japanese certainly teaming up against the Americans creating a so-called pact and whilst the, uh, the Americans certainly left high and dry. Okay, so trade war certainly in the background still. Okay, early weaker earnings from, well, not weaker earnings, but Mr. Sorrell, uh, he was quite a controversial figure early. I think he was, I think there was some sort of corruption scandal regarding him. He stepped down, um, certainly come out of the limelight, and then now they're talking about WBB breaking into smaller segments. Given the fact that Facebook and, and obviously Google have upset the uh, traditional uh, uh, advertising model altogether, okay, so they've failed to sort of modernize, and uh, it certainly doesn't bode well for them at present. And that's, that's certainly causing a drag on the FTSE at the moment. Uh, oil prices still afloat, although they're not uh, above the $67 level. They've gone back down to 66 now, from what you can see. Uh, dollar certainly uh, rallying as well, or pushing higher, uh, and dollar strength certainly expected to continue. Okay, now let's see the uh, fundamentals. Fundamental news flow this morning. Uh, we're waiting for retail sales in the next two minutes. So again, watch, uh, expect uh, dollar volatility there. Uh, Empire State, manufacturing activity, business inventories. And then we've got Mr. Kaplan, Kashgari, and Bostic speaking, speaking as well. So again, you don't really want to be trading the dollar, I think, unless we get some real consensus from there. Let's see what the uh, retail sales figures are, and we'll react accordingly. In terms of the UK this morning, again, like I said, it's all about WPP. Let's bring up the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, so German DAX certainly holding that resistance level after Friday's doji, still certainly expecting weakness on the daily chart. 60-minute chart, let's focus on 60-minute chart now on the upper level. Given the fact that it's made a higher high in the 60-minute chart, you have to respect that. One would presume higher highs and higher lows continue, and therefore you're looking at next target above at 12,700. So watch out for that potential level. Having said that, you do have the unfilled gap below 11,950. So again, any time the market's vulnerable, we could certainly collapse, collapse very quickly as well. But given the fact that the escalation in Syria didn't occur, that certainly is being interpreted as being bullish. Earnings season as well in America, that certainly is helping sentiment now. German DAX certainly is in support, into support here. So look for a potential bounce up to the 12,670 and potentially 12,480 as well. And you can't rule out the potential upper target being hit as well around the 12,530. Let me just quickly look at these stats for um, the US. Uh, we're seeing a lot of volatility here now. Let's see retail sales figures come through. Here we go. Uh, ah, very weak. Retail sales figures very weak. Okay, coming out 15.8 versus. No, no, that's the Empire State Manufacturing, not the retail sales. One second. Uh, coming in 0.6%. Good news. Okay, good news. Stronger dollar. So bear with me one second. Let me just quickly initiate a short position. Okay, yes. So going back to the uh, US data there. Yes, so certainly coming in stronger than expected. That should certainly help risk sentiment to a large extent. So watch out. So Trump. Oh, here we go. Jeez. Okay, one second. Need to go back to trading, folks. Give one second. Okay, so going back to the German DAX here, 60 minute chart certainly into support here, looking to test the upper level here. Okay, uh, the 10 minute chart. So let's move on to the French CAC now. Uh, latest news is Trump is talking down a dollar, saying that China and Russia are attempting to uh, devalue their currencies, which in turn isn't fair. And he's basically crying again, like a little kid, isn't it? Okay, so um, again, uh, daily chart on the French CAC holding gap fill, doji candle there as well. Okay, can we close the uh, upper? Well, not close the upper level, retest that upper gap at three. Uh, 5360 so watch out for that potential zone above okay uh, 60 minute chart on the french gun it's giving you an insight here higher highs higher lows so that certainly needs to be respected relief over the situation in syria again that certainly may well help risk sentiment and push this higher as well 10 minute chart on the french gun let's see if we can retest that double tops uh, resistance zone now all eyes in that double top okay above so watch out above folks again you've got horizontal support here Looking to uh, retest the gap level or gap fill resistance here, and you've got resistance above at 5340. So, again, looking for a thrust higher up to 5320 above, okay, and probably higher. 
In terms of FTSE 100, certainly flushing on the daily chart. Uh, it's a bull flag still though, so just bear that in mind. We're just basically consolidating here, looking to consolidate and then look to thrust up back up to that 637310 support or resistance, should I say? Okay. 60 minute chart again you're uh, obviously retraced now it's at 538 percent higher highs and higher lows are certainly resuming a uh, 10 minute chart we've obviously flushed lower on this h s target was 7275 minus 7250 we've hit the target at 7225 and now we're potentially looking to reverse now push higher if you were to reverse your first level of resistance is around 7240 and then you're looking to test 7240 and 7250 and 7255 so watch out above in terms of those key levels okay folks we're looking to break out of this bearish channel okay looking for a thrust and looking for a short squeeze i think that's a good summation really of uh, u.s markets again uh retail sales are coming u.s retail sales are coming stronger but trump is talking down the dollar by saying that russia and china are using uh, their currencies to gain an edge in terms of international trade again it's currency wars uh, continuing okay trade wars continuing and that's certainly be interesting to see how the markets react here on that note please be sure to visit trades uh, signal that signals and market updates for leading providers and certainly take advantage of that bonus with cfds.com. Goodbye.